Atoms consist of electrons surrounding a nucleus that contains protons and neutrons. Neutrons are neutral, but protons and electrons are electrically charged. Protons have a relative charge of plus one, and electrons have a relative charge of negative one. Atoms and elements. All substances are made of tiny particle called atoms. An element is a substance that is made of only one sort of atom. There are about a hundred different elements. These are shown in the periodic table, which is a chart with all the elements arranged in a particular way. The horizontal rows in a periodic table are called periods, and the vertical columns are called groups. Elements in a group have similar properties to each other. Metals and nonmetals. The metals are shown on the left of the periodic table, and the nonmetals are shown on the right. The dividing line between the metals and nonmetals is shown in red on the table below. You can see that most of the elements are metals. Chemical symbols. The atoms of each element are represented by a chemical symbol. This usually consists of one or two different letters, but sometimes three letters are used for newly discovered elements. For example, O represents an oxygen atom, and Na represents a sodium atom. The first letter in a chemical element is always uppercase and the other letters are always lowercase so the symbol for magnesium is capital M little g atomic structure all substances are made from tiny particles called atoms an atom has a small central nucleus made up of smaller subatomic particles called protons and neutrons the nucleus is surrounded by even smaller subatomic particles called electrons. Protons and electrons have an electrical charge. Both have the same size of electrical charge, but the proton is positive and the electron is negative. Neutrons are neutral. The number of electrons in an atom is equal to the number of protons in its nucleus. This means that atoms have no overall electrical charge. Atomic mass and mass number. The atomic number of an atom is the number of protons it contains. All the atoms of a particular element have the same atomic number, number of protons. The atom of different elements have different number of protons. For example, all oxygen atoms have 8 protons, and all sodium atoms have 11 protons. The mass number of an atom is the total number of protons and neutrons it contains. The mass number of an atom is never smaller than the atomic number. It can be the same, but is usually bigger. Full chemical symbols. You need to be able to calculate the number of each subatomic particle in an atom if you are given its atomic number and its mass number. The full chemical symbol for an element shows its mass number at the top and its atomic number at the bottom. This symbol shows that the chlorine atom has 17 protons. It will also have 17 electrons because the number of protons and electrons are all the same. The symbol also tells you that the total number of protons and neutrons in chlorine is 35. Note that you can work out the number of neutrons from the mass number and the atomic number. In this example, it is 35 for the mass number minus 17 protons equals 18 neutrons. Atoms. Electronic structure. The electrons in an atom occupy energy levels. These are also called shells. Each electron in an atom is found in a particular energy level. 
the lowest energy level, the innermost shell, fills with electrons first. Each energy level can hold a certain number of electrons before it comes full. The first energy level can hold a maximum of two electrons before it becomes full. The second can hold eight. The third will also hold eight. Electrons in the first energy levels for the elements with atomic numbers 1 through 20. Again, the first holds 2, the second holds 8, and the third holds 8. So remember, 2, 8, 8. Writing an electronic structure. The electron, electronic structure of an atom is written using numbers to represent the electrons in each energy level. For example, sodium this is 281, showing that there are two electrons in the first energy level, eight in the second, and one electron in the third energy level. You can work out the electronic structure of an atom from its atomic number or its position on the periodic table. Start at hydrogen, H, and count the elements needed to reach the element you're interested in. For sodium, it takes two elements to reach the end of the first period or row, eight elements to reach the end of the second period, and one element to reach sodium in its third period. The diagram of the periodic table shows how this works. You need to be able to write the electronic structure of any of the first 20 elements, hydrogen to calcium. It's going. <laughs> Electronic structure diagrams. You need to be able to draw <laughs> the electronic structure of any of the first 20 elements, hydrogen to calcium. In these drawings, the nucleus is shown as the black spot. Each energy level is shown as a circle around the nucleus. Each electron is shown by a dot or a cross. So lithium, the symbol is Li, <laughs> the electronic structure is 2-1. Fluorine is F, and its electronic structure is 2 and 7, because it has 7 outer electrons. Chlorine is Cl, not Ci, Cl. <laughs> And it is 2, 8, and 7 electrons on its outer level. Calcium is Ca. And it has 2 on the first level, 8 on the next, 8 on the third, and 2 on its outer level. Don't worry. In the exam about coloring in the electrons, just make them clear and ensure that they are in the right place. You may be asked to use a cross rather than a dot for each electron. Working out the electronic structure. Here's how to use the periodic table to work out an electronic structure. Find an element in the periodic table, work out which period or row it is in, and then draw the number of circles around the nucleus. Work out which group the element is in and draw the number of electrons in the inner circle, with eight for group zero elements, except for helium. Helium only has two. Fill the other circles with as many electrons as needed. Remember, two in the first circle, eight in the second, and eight in the third. Finally, check that the number of electrons is the same as the atomic number. Now it's time for the activity and then the test.